Okay, so um, this is our last property, property eight. Oops, property eight. And um, I said earlier, oh, we saved the best for last. I don't know if it's the best property, but it allows us to do certain things that we couldn't do any other way. Um, and it allows us to get decimal approximations for our calculator, um, where otherwise we might not be able to. Okay, so let's say you want to know the log base 7 of 15. Okay, so you're like, I want a decimal approximation for this. Well, sorry. Um, so there's no button on your calculator uh, that has that allows you to put in a base. Okay. Now I have two calculators. I have a cheap, like fifteen dollar calculator, and it does not. It has two logarithm buttons. It has a common log button, L O G, and it has a natural log button. Now they might look like this, or they might look like some of the times they put them in capital letters like this and either way it's the same button um i think mine are capital letters for the on the ti's okay so that's what they look like though natural log button and a logarithm button those are the only two bases i have i don't have a base seven um button and i don't have a button that allows me to put in the base so um it's that way on my 15 dollar calculator and it's that way on my hundred dollar calculator um okay anyway so if i want to figure out a decimal approximation i have a way to do it and it's called the change of base property okay so the change of base property says this it says if you have a logarithm base b of m you can split that into two logarithms log base a of m over divided by log base a of b so what this a is it's a new base and it can be whatever base you want it to be it can be base 10 or it can be base e or it can be base 25 if you wanted it to be um it can be whatever base you want so that's where the flexibility comes in now the a and b are both positive and they're not one because uh, we have to have that for it to be the base on a logarithm so that already comes and m is also greater than zero okay so the argument is positive now the way i remember this is uh, the m goes to the numerator and the b goes to the bottom anyway and they each are become arguments and you get any base you want okay so now here i have log base 7 of 15 right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split that into well let me rewrite it i'm going to split it into log now i get whatever base i want uh, i'm going to go with a common log because i already wrote log <laughs> but i could have gone with a natural log so it's going to be log 15 divided by log 7. And now I have a common log, and that I can put in my calculator. All right, a natural log, it's the same thing. I could have written it as the natural log of 15 over the natural log of 7, and I would get the exact same answer. You get to choose whatever base you want. If you had a button on your calculator that was log base 3, you could have made them log base 3 of 15 over log base 3 of 7. Okay, so, um, but most calculators have just a log button and a natural log button common log and natural log okay so now we have to know how to put it in the calculator on my calculator i can hit the log button to turn it on uh, hit the log button and i'm doing a common log this time so i have l o g and it my calculator opens the parentheses okay now that's important when we get into these parentheses i'm going to put 15 in so this is like on the calculator. It's in the display. It's the log button, but the, the parenthesis automatically appears. Okay, I have to close that off. I have to push the other parenthesis. If I don't, I'm not going to get the right answer. Then I hit the division bar, and then I'm going to hit log again. So you can't switch. You can't switch bases. You've got to be consistent here. If they're common there, 
And then here, they're bassy. Okay, you got to be consistent. Why did it go dark? Anyway, and that opens the parenthesis again. So that's the button I'm pushing, and it shows the parenthesis. I'm going to put 7 and then close that off. And I hit Enter. And I'm getting 1.39. I'm going to go four decimal places. 1, and it rounds up to 7. So it's approximately 1.3917. And I could do the same thing with the natural log button, and I'd get the same answer. Okay, so you can practice that. Okay, the big thing is the parentheses. You've got to make sure you get that parenthesis closing off the numerator before you hit that division bar. Okay, so we have some examples. It says use common logarithms to evaluate log base 5 of 140. So we split it up. Log 140 over log 5. Now it told me to use common logs. So this time they told me, hey, we want you to use common log. Okay, that's what we do. And then if they want a decimal approximation, they'll tell you sometimes to go four places or two places. I'll just go four places so we can practice. But you're going log, and then there's going to be parentheses around the 140 and parentheses around the 5. So log 140, close that parentheses, divided by log 5. All right. And I get... 3.0704. This time it doesn't round up. Okay? Now, um, the exact answer is right here. There's nothing you can do with that as far as like simplifying goes. So if you're trying to think, hey, how could I use one of those properties to simplify it? You can't. You can't divide the 5 into the 140 if you're thinking that. Stop thinking that because that doesn't work. Uh, you can't just pull the arguments out of the logarithm to do that. Um, so, so that's what it is as an exact answer. As a decimal approximation to four decimal places, it's 3.0704. Okay, now it says to do the same problem, but use natural logs. So I'm going to go natural log of 140 divided by natural log of 5. Notice the parentheses. So I go on my calculator and I'm going to put this in. Um, yeah, so let me clear this out. Natural log, so I'm using my natural log button. Again, it opens the parentheses for me. If it doesn't, you might have to put that in. Close the parentheses off. Hit divided by natural log. So I'm going natural log and then I'm going 140. It already has the parentheses. I close that off. Divided by natural log. Uh, it opens the parenthesis. I'm going to put in the 5 and close it off and hit enter. Now, um, we should get the exact same answer. And we get 3.0704. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you use common logs or natural logs. A lot of textbooks will use the natural log. It's a little bit shorter to type, less ink. Um, and there's reasons for that. A lot of times I use common logs, just I like the common logs. Okay. So I have another example just to practice one more time. So you have log base 7 of 2,506. So I'm going to write log, or I could do a natural log. I should have done a natural log. 2506, and that's going to be in parentheses, divided by log 7. And that's going to be in parentheses. And then I'm going to figure out the decimal approximation. All right, and I'll just go to four decimal places. They may say, hey, we want the approximation to two decimal places. but Okay, so log 2506. You really should stop the video and practice this one on your own. Make sure you get it. Once you get it, it'll be pretty much the same thing when we're doing these decimal approximations. So I have log 2506, close the parenthesis, divided by log 7. And I get 4.02, um, 4.02, oh, it's 199, so it's going to round up to 2, oh, all right, so there we go, all right, um, I don't know if they want exact answers or decimal approximations, they didn't say, I assumed they wanted decimal approximations, so.